everyone and welcome to the video today. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> I love this car. Well anyway, to the topic of the video. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about the wide body Hellcat. And do I think that it was a good idea? Hell yes, I think it was a great idea. You know, they spent all that money creating the wide body kit for the for the demon. Why not? Why not carry it over to the Hellcat and address the biggest issue that we as Hellcat owners have complained about this car? Not enough meat to the ground. We have needed more tire since day one. I honestly don't know why they waited this long. Why do it on the outgoing body style production year? You know what I mean? Why not address it? spend the extra time on it after the first year get it ready for these and you know and then surprise everyone with the demon i guess you know it was more showy to debut it on the demon but we've been complaining longer for more power on this i mean for more grip on this than we have been you know for more power a <laughs> 707 horsepower isn't that already enough again not complaining about the demon love the car. Am I going to get one? No. It's not my style of racing. I enjoy drag racing just as much as the next guy, but I prefer circuit racing, course racing. This is where I'm going with my build on my Hellcat. I want to turn it into a track car. And you know what? I would love to be able to keep up with Mike from Street Speed, you know, do a video with him. You know, I... Will I have as much power as him someday? Probably. Will I be able to handle like him? We'll see. You know, who knows? Or even Guitar Mageddon Z01. But, you know, both their cars are more drag cars now. But if I can keep up with them, that'll make me happy. But we'll see if I can get there. Anyways, but back to the, <laughs> back to the wide body. Now, the wide body on the Hellcat, as far as I'm concerned, looks the car looks different from the Demon. Correct, it's the same dimensions with the body kit and whatnot, but the wheels and tires are completely different. The 18-inch 315s on the Demon or the 20-inch 305s on the Hellcat. So as far as the looks go, they look completely different with the wheel and tire packages. They change the look of the car immensely. You know, the 20s look really nice and they have the bigger brakes on them because again you're not drag racing the car you're actually driving this car on the street a lot more than it was intended as a drag car so they had the smaller brakes and tires uh i'm sorry the smaller brakes on the demon because it's more of a straight line drag car you know stop repeat you know what i mean as to where on the roads you're going to be doing a lot more hopefully road road driving especially with the wide body kit you know, they also added the, um, the assisted steering. I don't know. I haven't driven it yet, and so I don't know how much different it feels. You know, my steering feels really good. I've got no issues when I go into corners, and um, yeah, so I've got really no complaints on that as yet. You know, I can't really complain about it because it, it hasn't really affected me. You know, when I dip into corners, I'm actually going faster than I thought. Um, you know, I did come from a Camaro into this, but it's still, it's pretty good. But I'm glad that they're utilizing the money that they spent on the wide body kit and bringing it over to the Hellcat, which is awesome. Am I going to trade mine in for the Hellcat? No, uh, no, I am not because I intend to do a full wide body kit on this car and a full build. But that's a video for another day. Now, as far as the looks are concerned, back to that, because I keep scrolling off into to, to elsewhere land. The hoods look completely different. So there really is no mistaking one for the other. You look at it, you know you're looking at the demon because of the hood. And you look at it, and you know you're looking at the Hellcat because of the hood put two different shapes on it, you know, the Demon's got that one, you know, big bump, and to where the, the Hellcat has, you know, the, the little one in the center with the two swoops down the side, <clears throat> unmistakable, you, you know which one's which from 
20, 30, 40, 50 feet away. I guess it would depend on the angle. But really, I mean, the astute person would be able to tell strictly from the tire compound just by looking at it. You would know that you've got drag radios on it if you're looking at it from the back. <laughs> you can't really screw that up. And uh, unless the, you know, unless the owner changed them, but you know, why would you? You buy a dedicated drag car with dedicated tires for that car. Don't you think you'd want to stick with those tires? You know, unless you're changing the setup, going to wider tires, and going with a dra- with a full slick and whatnot. All right, I'll give you that. But you can do that with pretty much any car. And another good thing about the wide body kit on the Hellcat is they leave a lot more meat on the bone for. Hellcat owners. Now there's more space to go with wider tires without having to widen the body because they've already done it. $7,000 option comes with the built in wider fenders and rear quarters and, um, you know, all the plastics that go along with it, along with wider wheels and tires. So for seven grand, that's not bad. The body kit that I'm looking at is uh, going to cost me around 6500 so it's that's not even wheels and tires. Eh. Why quabble over semantics? Yeah, at least mine will be unique. At least I hope. I thought it was a fantastic idea, and I'm glad they finally addressed that issue that um, the Hellcat owners have been complaining about not big enough tires. You know, they picked up a tenth here, two tenths there. You know, and around, uh, I think, a 1.6, 1.7 mile track, they you know, beat it by two seconds over the, you know, last, I don't want to say generation, but last year's, the let's go with standard, there we go, standard Hellcat without the wide body. Now, in translation, I believe that's 16 to 18 cars, I'm not sure what number that they use, but that's 16 to 18 car lengths, that's a lot. In the automotive racing world, 16 to 18 car lengths is ridiculous when winning and losing is a matter of milliseconds and and milli inches. You know what I mean? That last one probably didn't even make sense, but who cares? It's just that just goes to show you what the difference, you know, a little extra meat to the ground does for this car. You know what I mean? And then you know, a couple of suspension upgrades for in the aftermarket. Who knows what this car is capable of? A couple of aero kits? We'll see. Hint, hint. <laughs> but, anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. You know, nothing crazy, nothing long. I just wanted to, to put that out there. As always, you know, likes, comments, shares, always appreciated. Any questions, please let me know. Yeah, anything you want to see, you know, post them in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to respond. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You know, I greatly appreciate it. And as always, be well, stay safe.